Hello, everyone. Welcome to the World Series of Board Gaming. I want to give you a news update as we count down to September 2024. If you haven't gotten your tickets, you have 23. Actually, let's check the website. It's got a running tally on it. 25 days remaining to buy your ring or outer ring ticket. Uh, but if you are interested in open gaming, well, I've got a lovely surprise for you. We've changed the dates. Now open gaming will be starting on Friday night. We're going to try to get everything pumped in there Friday night so that all Saturday, all Sunday, you can open game. All Saturday before the event even starts, before the main ring event even starts. If you're there for the WGI, you'll be playing in that. But the open gaming will be available. And so if you just want to come to the World Series of Board Gaming for the 21st to the 26th, we've extended it a day, now making it an even larger value. You can always just get that Saturday and Sunday weekend pass if you want to take a little glimpse in it you only have the weekend we are trying to make a ticket tier for literally any person any but any category you want to spend a weekend in vegas playing in the open gaming area all the cost you would be 75 bucks or if you want to play in an open gaming area for six days that'll just cost you 140 dollars. that's 23 dollars a day for access to the best board game library in existence. Dice Tower West Board Gaming Library with over 2,500 titles. This is the event that you want to come to, whether you are a tournament player or not, whether you're vying for that $25,000 prize or not. This is the time to come, to make the decision. Come hang out with us from the 21st to 26th. And hey, come in Friday night and do so quickly because the hotel rates are going up. We still have some tickets locked in for that Sunday to Wednesday time period. You can get in on our exclusive $165 a night pass. Once you put in the tax and resort fees, it comes to $165. It, they would show you it as $125 or even less on their websites, but I guarantee you this is probably the best rate that you could ever get on the Vegas Strip. And so if you just come for open gaming, come hang out, use that code, but the Saturday and the Friday night, those are getting really popular. We sold out of our block already, and the, the hotel keeps increasing those prices. So if you don't want to be dispersed, if you want to stay in the same place, please get your tickets. What are you waiting for? It's August. This is your sign to grab your tickets. Get in now and purchase those tickets. See us all. Hang out with us at WSBG and see who takes home that grand $25,000 prize. See who takes home a coveted ring. Oh man, I'm getting so excited for this. And if you are playing in the tournament, you will have access to some exciting exclusives, including the first ever foil promo card for Dune. Uh, if you're a fan of Dune Imperium, which is one of the events in the tournament, and you sign up to play in that event, each player will get their very own copy of this Worm Riders card. You can replace it in your game. You can go for that Seek Taper Fremen strategy. I played a Spice Must Flow strategy the last game of Dune Imperium that I played just a couple nights ago. And man, oh man, was it was it a good time. I think I got like four Spice Must Flow. I didn't win a single battle, but I got four Spice Must Flow. I had the corner of the market card. It was so satisfying going, hitting up Seek Tabor, getting additional draw. I played as Paul Atreides, and so I really just manipulated my deck. It was fantastic. I love Dune Imperium, uh, and so I can't wait to get my hands on this promo card and shuffle it into my deck so that the next time I am going for a Fremen strategy, well, I can do so in foil style. And if you missed it, again, please sign up for our newsletter because we, we drop important things like this. We have the new global player rankings that are available. We want to create a database to rank the top board gamers in the world. Obviously, there's the World Series of Board Gaming, a major tournament where you can put your skills to the test. You can prove that you are one of the best of the best and come and see how well you fare and see if you go on that magical March Madness run that I know is possible, ranking yourself up. And we want to include other tournaments in this mix. And so if you do run a board gaming tournament or you've participated in one, make sure to talk to the organizers of that. Have them send us their info. Have them send us their rankings. And we will input that into our system and we can create that global ranking. Again, as the mission of the World Series of Board Gaming is to put board gaming on the forefront. I've gotten so many YouTube videos of poker recommended to me because I've been looking at them to think about camera angles and see what we can do with our limited budget and see how we can elevate the streaming side of things that everybody can watch and enjoy. 
or so that you can be highlighted even more as the champions that you are when you are participating at that those final tables when you're getting them commentated on by some of the best board game aficionados in the business but we want board gaming to be on that level we know that our games are great and have depth of strategy and we want to bring that to the world so help us create this global ranking database help us put the stars of board gaming on the forefront and email your results to results at wspgvegas.com break down what happened in the tournaments give us those lists and we will be compiling and creating this global ranking over the course of the next years and if you have a history of, of any results contact us or if you've participated in any tournaments contact us and get your name on that ranking system since i work for the world series of board gaming i might have to start attending other events to make sure that i can get my ranking up there with the best of the best since I, I can't participate as I'm busy running the tech behind the scenes. But please help us elevate the hobby and recognize the best in board gaming. That is what we want to do. And also to do that, if you are participating in the World Series of Board Gaming, don't forget to fill out your player profiles because it is time to build your player profile. We want to see a ranking. We, wanna, we have the ranking from 2023. We're going to build in the ranking of 2022. We're going to mash those all up together. Uh, but we want your profiles. We want to look at your profiles. And it's really fun to skim through these profiles to see what people have to say about the World Series. I'll be doing a designated video featuring those profiles as we get closer to the event, as we look for the players to watch for as we head into 2024. It's going to be a friggin' blast. I can't wait to showcase all of these shining stars of board gaming out there who just, when you, when you go through, they just want to know why you're not participating in WSBG. PJ says, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Wayne Gretzky, Michael Scott, PJ, marry me. And I agree, PJ. I agree. And if you are interested in being a part of the World Series of Board Gaming, and you're not ready to participate in the main competition, get in touch with us. We're always looking for volunteers to help man the doors, to help keep the sanctity of the tournament hall, to make sure people don't go in and out. It requires a lot of people to, to help out and to be there and to check and check people in. We're always looking for volunteers. And so if you have an idea of what you want to do or you say, hey, it doesn't matter what I want to do. I just want to help out, be involved in the competition. And you're not already on the way here. Or if you are already on the way here, we can make either of those things work. We'll get you locked in for 2024 or even down the line will get you into our database for 2025. And to thank you for your help, we'll give you a free open gaming pass. Easy peasy, six days of open gaming just for working a couple shifts. It's, it's a pretty good deal. Feel free to send us a message. You can send it through our website contact form. Just head over to wspgvegas.com to do that. And as we get started for 2024, as we ramp up, we want to highlight all of our special guests. We have so many people from the Dice Tower crew rolling in. Tom Vassell, Z Garcia, Camilla Clayhorn, Roy Canaday, Chris Yee, Mike Delicio, or, or in this order, Tom Vassell, Chris Yee, Roy Canaday, Camilla Clayhorn, Mike Delicio, and Z Garcia. If you want to hang out with the Dice Tower, we have partnered with them in such a degree of, because we want to use their gaming library because they are such vocal presences in our hobby. We wanted to make sure that they were that they were here, and so it's great to have more of them come down. If you want to come down, hang out, and have Dice Tower Vegas, well, Dice Tower West Part 2, come on down. It's going to be a great time. Uh, we also do want to take this opportunity to thank our sponsors, Space Cowboys. They have helped us in the past make sure we've had enough copies of Splendor with all the beautiful gems so we could be drowning in gems like Scrooge McDuck. We want to give a huge shout out to Space Cowboys and thank them again for their help in providing that. And a huge shout out again to Next Move Games, making sure that we have enough copies of Azul, making sure that we have the Azul support as well. Azul has been a really fun heat to watch last year i just did i've been doing over the past couple of weeks and i'm going to do a few more of these heading as we head into september looking back at the final games and seeing some of the pivotal moves that were happening and by doing this i unlocked a new azul strategy that i never knew about just by doing the math and watching the risky strategy that eventual winner scott leader implemented in perfect form 
everything fell down exactly right. And so Azul has been a, a really exciting one to watch because of that. And of course, thanks to the Dice Tower, as we said, Dice Tower will be live streaming the finals, bringing you all the commentary. And we've got a few more things planned. We've got a whole day of content for every day of WSBG planned. Tom and I have, worked, have been working closely together to make sure that is an awesome experience and for also helping us with their extraordinary library. I do want to do another Outer Ring Spotlight, and this is an exciting one for me because these two have never been in the main event. We have Root and we have Endless Winter. If you want to come and compete and be the best at Root and say that you have won the Tournament of Root at the World Series of Board Gaming, you can walk away with prizes for everything in the Outer Ring. You get prizes, you get money. There are ways, to, if you're an Outer Ring competitor, to buy into the Phoenix tournaments as well. There are so many ways that you can walk away with winnings at this event. You can basically win your way to Vegas and win your way back and win your way into prizes that will get you back year after year for free just by winning the board games that you love and playing them. Uh, I'm really excited to see Root in that, and I'm so excited to see Endless Winter as well. It's an awesome sort of jack of all trades, a really representative of the modern Euro game as we know it. The multiple different mini games that are happening in Endless Winter are really exciting and seeing how they all combine together. I love those crunchy combos that just chain together and, and managing different aspects of a game to try to come out on top. Endless Winter is also fantastic. So no matter what your gaming style is, there are so many games in the outer ring, so many games in the main ring. Are you stoked? Have I conveyed my excitement enough to you yet? I hope I have because I am friggin' stoked. I also want to take this moment in our community section to give a huge shout out to our friendly local game stores. Congrats to the Empire Board Game Library for the successful Road to the World Series gaming event that they had. They, they did one game every week, focusing on one game every week and then having the finals where the best player of these finalists, these finalists right here, is now on their way to Vegas with a stay and play ticket. And I think that's just a really wonderful, a wonderful thing for board game stores to get into. And if you want to have your own road to the WSPG event, contact me. We can set something up. We can make sure that you get a discounted prize to offer to your people who participate. And then you can have a great event planned at your store for the next 17 weeks. 17 weeks of the next year. It's a pretty fun structure, so give me contact. Chris at WSPGVegas.com. And there are board game events happening all over all the time if you have an itch to game, check out these great game stores. Some of these great game stores are talking about us. We want to talk about them. If you're in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Little War Team, go check them out. In Oklahoma City, we have the Oklahoma Board Game Store. And Yardville, New Jersey, check out War Gamers Guild. And if you're in Carthage, Tennessee, check out the Rogue and the Raven. And as always, as I've been saying in these news updates, if you invite friends who have never been to WSBG before, there's a rewards program where you can all get cool stuff, money to spend at the WSBG store, exclusive access to the final day event where we have playtesting of never before seen games by famous designers. You can even get your full four ring ticket to 2025 completely covered. So go check it out. Check out the rewards club. That's a lot. That is a lot to cover. So don't miss out. Like I was saying, if you missed it, I put out a video on everything that you are going to walk away with at WSBG, including all of the promo items that we have. Arc Nova, Earth, Heat, the first ever Arc Nova tournament board, a free play map for Earth, a new track signed off on by the designers of Heat, that new fan-made track printed for you all, a new promo card for Terraforming Mars, that new foil card for Dune Imperium, plus a ton more of other prizes you can win and a bunch of games that'll be in your swag bag that every player gets. So don't miss the deadline. You can change your ring games up until September 2nd. You can get in, but then we need the time to set the tournaments and fully set all the tournaments. Don't miss the deadline to book your tickets. And seriously, be careful because the hotel block is filling up. We only have 16 stay and play packages that we can offer. And then the price, the cost is going to go up. So if you are a person who's waiting for the last minute, this is your last minute. <laughs> like save yourself money. Don't wait two weeks and then have to pay an extra a couple hundred bucks to the hotel. Nobody wants that. We don't want that. We want you to be able to spend that extra couple hundred bucks on games from the WSBG store. We want you to spend that 
on fun times, shows in Vegas, not just a place to rest your head. Plus, that September 1st deadline is your last chance to get ring tickets and outer ring tickets. You could still buy an open gaming ticket at the door if you wanted, but you wouldn't be able to participate in all the other fun events that we have planned. But open gaming is still fun. I legitimately don't understand how we could make this a better value deal. I don't understand. <laughs> Please tell your friends, because I love giving people value and giving people good deals and i believe we are doing it so tell your friends grab all your board gaming friends bring them down convince them to come end of september and we will see you there from all of us here at the world series of board gaming my name is chris george and what are you waiting for it's time to get in the game